Now, to understand any complex strategy, you must chunk the process and information into simple bite-sized pieces. If you have too many pieces, overwhelm and inaction can occur. But if you have too little pieces, it's not enough clarity to execute correctly. So we'll chunk this process into three steps. Then we'll go into details or in sub steps into each one of them. Step one only has one step versus the other, other steps have multiple sub steps, so to speak. So the first step is keyword research. The second step is on page optimization. And the third step is off page promotion. And again, we'll go over all exactly what those means and how they work. So let's go into these three steps one by one in order, starting with first the keyword research. Keyword research means finding all the best converting keywords, what their search volume is, an estimated ROI they have, grouping them, and choosing the best keywords that will ultimately equal a big ROI from the SEO campaign. Now, these keywords, along with the data, is used to make sure you know that the SEO campaign will be profitable and also what keywords will be used because these keywords will be ranked and also will be used in step two, creating the content, and step three, the promotion. So it's used in the other steps after the first step in this formula. The keyword research usually happens at two main time frames. First, in the beginning, kind of more if you have a client, the prospect relationship, in the beginning of the SEO campaign, keyword research is used to show the prospect the ROI and what keywords will be ranked to turn the prospect into a paying client in the first place. Also, throughout the client relationship or throughout the SEO campaign to find and target more keywords when needed or to make sure we have the right ones or a different direction, etc. So you can use it in the beginning or you can use keyword research during or both, these both time frames. Now, the challenge with keyword research here isn't that it's so hard or anything that's so complex. It's more of using the principle that we just talked about earlier. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And as you know, we only have so much time. We have limited time and energy in the day. And all the subtle, detailed, time-intensive work it takes to do the keyword research and complete it adds up, such as finding the keywords from various methods, either the client, client site, competitors, Google Keyword Planner, etc., downloading and putting them together, checking and adding the search volume of each, determining what keywords are most likely convert into sales, also known as buyer keywords versus information seeking keywords that are not likely to turn into sales, also grouping the keywords into groups that make the most sense together, looking at all the factors to determine what keywords and keyword groups are the best to rank, calculating the ROI of each keyword and group, and adding professional design so that others can view it easily and see the value, etc. So of course, like any of these options, you can do all that, which again, may or may not take you away from higher leverage activities to scale your business, or we, White Label It Pro, can do all the detailed time intensive work for you. The details, the digging, the sifting, analyzing, organizing, thinking, making it look nice, et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff that is involved in keyword research, all done for you correctly, delivered straight to your email inbox in just a few short days. That way, you have the right keywords that bring the quickest and most long-term profit in order to make sure you are targeting those right keywords for yourself or your client. And again, giving yourself more time to do anything else like focus on the strategy, working on growing your business for more growth and profit long-term. So you can click the keyword research icon on the homepage and scroll to the description or the more details, or and you can go right to the order and you can fill out the information or the keyword research if you need that. Now, hold up. Before we go any further, because there's going to be 10 core sub-steps or 10 core pieces to this strategy, we're gonna make a big picture visualization of all the core pieces that we go over and also how they all connect. So as we talked about, the first step in the Google ranking process is knowing the keywords you wanna be ranked grouped together because each keyword group will need a piece of content, both article and YouTube video, which will go over detail in step two, and the keywords will also be used during step three, which is off-page promotion. Also, to make this even more clear, even more easy to use, we're also going to make a checklist so we can have a logical format to document what and how many we need of each thing and make sure they get done, put in place. So we'll add to this checklist as we go out through this training. Now, the first section only had one key part to it, which was keyword research. So now we are done with that big picture step, that big picture section, and now we're ready to move on to step two or section two, which is on-page optimization. Note, just on the homepage of, of whitelabelitpro.com, we put the keyword research onto the on-page just to make it easier for chunking on the homepage. 
but um, it kind of can, can be considered its own step or with on the on page. It's not a big deal as long as they're getting done. But for the sake of this conversation, this training, where we've kind of moved on from the keyword research, and now we're going to the second step of the ranking formula, which is on page optimization, which is making sure the content is actually created and in place and optimized correctly for humans and search engines to let Google know that this content is relevant because Google always wants to rank the most relevant searches. That way the user says, wow, you know, this is exactly what I was looking for and is more likely to have a good experience, come back, click some Google ads at some point and Google makes money. So let's go into details what those core sub action steps are within on-page optimization. The first core step within on-page optimization is page article created or page article creation. In other words, having the article on the page on the website that will be ranked in the top spots in Google. And I frequently use different words to kind of talk about this page of the website, either page article or page site article or article or site article, etc. Now, sometimes the client website, they already have some content that we can modify and use to be ranked in, in Google. And sometimes there's no usable site page that can be used and modified for whatever reason, which in case, then you'll need to create that so we have it in place. Now, to be clear again, this is the page on the website that we want to rank in Google. We need an article to rank in Google. No article, no rankings. And each keyword group has its own article. So each keyword group that you want to rank for must have its own unique site article. But the article must be written in a very specific way, such as compelling to read, builds trust, educates, call to action, etc. It has to be efficient at getting the reader to take action to become a lead or sale. The whole reason why we're doing all this work here. So it seems easy enough, but there is some challenges, such as everyone and their grandma says they're a great writer. But the truth is only few people are, meaning that, that only few people can actually write a good and great piece of content that actually makes people that take that action, either to fill out the form, either to call, to become the lead, or to buy right away, etc. So not only find these writers, but also it needs to be an affordable process. But if you get cheap writers and they just produce crap, that means you or someone else has to rewrite them. So it's like, why even get them in the first place if it's a whole big deal just to rewrite these? But then on the other side, expensive writers can be good, but the costs are way too high and it just doesn't make sense and it's, it's not profitable. So you have to find a great writer and it has to be affordable. And then when the time comes around, you need to use them again. You want them there. Uh, you need a great writer that sticks around till next time. And that can be a little bit harder than you may think. So you need a consistent writer to scale. And not only a great, affordable, consistent writer, but also trained on SEO integration. And most people don't know how to optimize correctly at all. Even some people, they actually over-optimize and end up getting the website penalized and prevent rankings in Google, which is the opposite of what we want. So that adds another layer of complexity here. You have to get the writer to know how to write for SEO purposes and for humans at the same time, have it make sense for both parties, meaning the search engine reads the clues, determining the page is relevant, you know, with these certain keywords and these certain things and certain factors and for humans to understand the clues to influence them to take action. So we had to sift through a lot of people and find the right system and find these people and train them and have them become great writers on how to make sure the content is optimized both SEO and humans at the same time. Now with White Label Pro, you can virtually steal our writers and have them focused on your needs, creating your next masterpiece of content while saving you hundreds of hours of time, stress, and energy to find the person and to build the system yourself and you have it delivered right to your email for a fraction of the cost it would take you if you did it all on your own. Plus, you have total control if you accept this article or not. You want a little piece written of the article? No problem, we'll do that. Want the whole thing written? No problem, we'll do that. We aim to actually get this in place exactly how you need it. Overall, if you need an article in place for your keyword group, you can go to the home page, just like with all these orders, and you can click the order page, or you can click more detail and read the description for more details, or you can order right away, fill in your details, and in no time flat, you'll have a professional, high converting, well-written article to rank in Google. We'll add this piece to the big picture map we're creating, and then we'll also add that to the checklist. So again, if that's not already in place, you would need to get that in place. Now let's go on to the second step 
in on page optimization, which is page article optimized. So not only do we have to have the compelling page article for humans, it also must be optimized for the search engines by incorporating certain factors such as the main target keyword in the title, the keyword throughout the body, linking out to a relevant authority site, etc. The reason why is Google wants to rank the most relevant searches like we mentioned before. Again, so that user says, wow, this is exactly what I want, comes back, good experience. You know, they may click some ads, Google makes more money, etc. Now, I am not here to tell you exactly what on-page optimization is, you know, where to put the keywords in a certain places, you know, certain amount of time, LSI keywords, linking out to authority site, YouTube video embedded, etc. I'm also not here to tell you, you know, exactly how to do the on-page optimization correctly. And I'm not even here to tell you that it's that figuring out or doing on page is even that hard. I'm here to help you in a very unique and different way. To really understand the true value of this in all the white label at Pro product services, we need to always come back to that quote that we started in the beginning that allows us to profitably scale the client SEO business. Again, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. So like I mentioned, on page optimization isn't the hardest thing in the world. But that hour or so of time and energy you spend coming up with the SEO optimized, compelling like meta title, description, and all that fun stuff, quote unquote, to get your page optimized correctly is called opportunity cost, meaning the time and energy you lost not working on growing your business, doing higher leverage, working on the system type stuff is what you're missing out. In other words, where you need to scale your business, you'll be doing this other stuff. So you need to focus solely on high leverage activities. We're reiterating that here. You need to be focused on the things that cannot be outsourced as easily, like strategically thinking and executing plans to grow your business. Again, I'm not saying that on-page optimization is not important. I am saying the opposite of that. I'm saying it is very important. All I'm saying is what is also important is for you to start letting go of control and delegating the quote unquote easier tasks so you can fully focus on big picture opportunities to grow your business and income. That's how big success and profit will happen. So you, you can use us, White Label It Pro. You can have an on-page, fully trained on-page ninja. Analyze the exact pages, exactly what you need optimized, and we'll send you exactly what you need to change, where, why, how, etc., saving you the time from having to do it yourself. You know deep down you need to be working on your business, not in your business. And as corny and as overused as that phrase may be, and as, as many times as I'm using it, it's true. Few people do it though. And the ones that do actually delegate, let go, and work more on their business get rewarded because all the rewards and profit come from more clients, strategically growing the business, not doing all the SEO tasks yourself. So by having us do the report, telling you exactly what you need to change, then all you have to do is you, just taking a five minutes or someone you hire, will need to apply the fixes, changes, updates that we clearly spell out in the report that will, again, just take about five minutes or less on average to implement. The bottom line here is not only doing the on-page optimization correctly is a key component to ranking the top spots for your desired keywords, but most important, freeing you to the work on higher leverage activities to grow your business and become profitable today. So you have to make the call. If you need to make sure your page is optimized using the tried and true, time-tested, proven, on-page factors that we use, then fill out the information on the form. Again, you can go to the homepage, click it, go to the form, fill it out, and we'll analyze for, for you, tell you exactly what you need to change in a fully optimized to rank in Google. And again, freeing up your time to work on your business, not in it, all adding up to a predictable ranking increase in Google and profitable business growth for you and your client if this is who it's for as well. So we'll add this piece to the big picture visualization as well, and we'll add to our checklist as well. And now on to the next piece of ranking number one on Google for scaling and more profit, which is site errors fix. Next up is fixing the site errors. The best way I can explain this one is a metaphor. I don't know if you can imagine, it's like building a railroad track to a new place and there's a bunch of boulders and trees blocking your path. You have to clear the trees and the boulders out of the way to get where you're going, right? Now think of this new place where you're going as your top rankings in Google. And the boulders and trees that are in the way are the site errors that are stopping the site from the top rankings in Google. Those boulders, things in the way, which we call site errors, must be fixed before you rank on the top spots. These site errors can include things like broken links, duplicate content, etc. Now, 
why can these site errors prevent the website from ranking the top spots in Google? Well, from Google's thinking, if the site has these errors of broken links, thin content, duplicate content, etc., all these things we classify as site errors, whatever they may be, then a user may have a bad experience with the site. Then the user may blame Google for showing them that site. And if this would happen too much, then Google would get a bad rep. And as because you know everything, you know, everyone shares and gets it out, a bad rep can mean less people come back, which of course means Google makes less money because less people are using them and clicking their ads. And of course, that's the opposite of what Google wants. So they don't want to take that risk of putting all the site with all these site errors in the top position is Google. They want ones that are most likely for the user to have a good experience. Now, the first challenge of these site fixes is first figuring out what to actually fix. There's so much different information and views on what actual analyze and fix out there. There's a lot of conflicting data what actually works and information overwhelm can set in very, very quickly. And there's also tons of free online tools claiming and analyzing and doing all sorts of different types of things. And also knowing the what then the how, and then there's managing, organizing it into simple report to actually take action on it. That will make sure that you avoid any ranking suppressions of the, and the site is free to rank in the top spots in Google. So we've spent a lot of time and money researching what actually works and what actually needs to be corrected, analyzed, and fixed. And what we can ignore, and it just doesn't really matter, based on countless sites and businesses in all different types of markets that we worked with over the years. So you can do all that, or you can take the shortcut, quote unquote, and we can do all the hard, detailed work for you. We can find every single site mistake you need to fix and give you the exact specific errors and steps needed to fix them. And I'm not talking like, oh, here, fix this. It's more like, fix this thing here, here's a screenshot, here's why, here's how to fix it by putting XX code here, etc. We're so specific that way you or someone you give it to cannot help but fix them correctly. That way you save a ton of money, time, and stress from doing it all yourself. Stay focused on what really matters such as strategically growing your business as fast as you can and to be the most profitable as fast as possible. So to make sure the site that your ranking has no hidden errors that are preventing your site from being in the top positions in Google, you'll want to make sure you find and fix all the site errors. If you want a first look or a second look to identify all the first page preventing mistakes and exact specific steps to fix them, then you can go to the homepage of operatorpro.com, click on the white label of pro site audit service, fill out the information, and we'll shortly get back to you with a full site audit report. So we'll add fixing the site errors to the big picture, and then we'll add it to the checklist. Again, if you need your site analyzed site errors, like I mentioned with the other White Label Pro products slash services, you can just go to the homepage, click on the site fixes errors, and you get more details, or you can order right away. Now onto the next piece of within the on-page optimization section, which is YouTube video creative. What we do in our ranking process, we also rank a video hosted on youtube.com to rank. Just like articles, we want one YouTube video per keyword group. So each keyword group has an article and it has a YouTube video. Now the reasons why we use a YouTube video as well as the page article we rank both is three reasons. First, more spots. Okay, we can rank our stuff or our customer's website number one and we can rank a YouTube video number two or vice versa in both of those top spots. That way, then more people are likely to click on those content and therefore more traffic, more leads, more sales. Also, another reason is we can rank faster. Since the video is placed on YouTube.com, we are piggybacking on the popularity and billions of backlinks that YouTube gets and has, so we can sometimes rank a lot faster than a website. We can be more aggressive and send more links, and it can actually rank faster than the site. And the third reason is actually for more conversions. The truth is, some people like to read and some people like to view or watch. So if we just have a web page, some people just don't like to read and they'll skip out and they won't become a lead and you know won't become a sale. But also some people like to view so those people can actually view the video and then those can convert into a lead. So having both in place, both the page article and the video, we can convert more traffic, more people into more leads and sales for more business growth. So all of these work together for more leads, more traffic, more conversions, more sales. Now the challenges here is that it involves a lot of people to get a video done correctly. Okay, a writer to write the script, 
then a voiceover person to record it, and then someone knows how to video edit and do that correctly, and a project management person in place to tie these all together and connecting all the pieces, and to do it all done correctly within the cost and the budget and the set time frame. So just like all these products or services, we've already built out the system. We've already hired the people. We have the best people in place. We have the processes, the systems, et cetera, to get this done correctly, affordably, and within a time frame. So therefore, we can start working on your video right away within a few short days. You'll have 100% custom, professional, high converting video on your keyword or topic to rank faster in Google, as well to rank for more positions in Google and convert more users all adding to exponentially more leads, sales, and business growth for your business or and your client's business or both, if that's the case. So we know that videos are very important and how hard it can be to delegate and to find a reliable person and people to fill all these different roles and to create these videos correctly. So we are very excited to offer this if you need it to start making your next video today. As always, you can click the icon on the homepage, get more details, and order right away if needed. So regardless if you order it or not, let's add that to our big picture visual map, having a video. You may have it in place, you may not. If you need it, again, you can get it from us or you'll need it created because that works in our strategy. And we'll go into more details how it all connects again. So we're adding it to our big picture visual map here, and we're also gonna add it to our checklist as well. So we'll have a video for each keyword group. Now, onto the final piece of on-page optimization section, which is YouTube Video Optimize. The video optimization means putting all the keywords in the right place, such as the video file, the title, description, tags, etc. to make sure Google and YouTube know the video is super relevant to the target keyword. Video optimization also means not only for YouTube and Google to know your video is relevant, but also optimization for the user, the real humans who read it, such as a compelling title, the title must be aligned to the video content so they don't click it and it says one thing and then the video is about something else, you're like this isn't what I want and they don't convert. So it needs to be both for the SEO and for the humans. And video optimization is 50% of the equation to rank in the top spots in YouTube.com and Google.com. And the other 50%, so to speak, of the equation is, of course, promotion and backlinks, which we'll talk about in the next step. So why we create it and why we opt optimize it is, again, you'll be able to rank in the top spots faster because you're piggybacking on the success of YouTube.com. You'll get more conversions because some people like to read, some people like to watch and listen, and more spots in Google, all for more traffic, more leads, and more sales. So the challenge here, just like page article optimization, is video optimization is not that hard to do. Remember, the value here is the same principle White Label at Pro and business scaling is built on. Just because you can do it, doesn't mean you should do it. You are not going to get more money per month, the lifestyle, the business growth you want by optimizing videos. Yes, it must get done, but it doesn't need to be done by you. The few hours it takes for you to properly come up with the content and optimization for the YouTube videos and figure out how to do it and what they are exactly, you can be spending that time on other higher leverage things. And you may even be saying, well, Mike, you know, this procedure, this doesn't take that long to optimize the video, so it's okay, I can do it. The thing is, all these smaller tasks add up. And again, we only have so much time and energy in the day and only so much focus, and it's not that much. Like I'm saying here, I'm just trying to help you have those pieces in place and either you have it in place or you can, you're gonna get it in place by different means or we can do it for you as well. So, like all these products and services and this entire message and training here, you have options. I mean, you can take the time to learn exactly how to optimize a video if not already. You can do it yourself or you can hire someone to do it, but then you have to put a job, add description, go through all the people, interviews, hire, train, manage someone to do it, etc. which is the pros and cons of that. Or you can take the shortcut, quote unquote, and let us optimize your video or videos for you. We'll send you a full report on your video, exactly what you need to change, have in place so your video is correctly optimized. For example, the right titles, descriptions, find the correct tags. Most people you know, don't have the right tags and custom thumbnail, et cetera, et cetera. We are literally executing the same strategic procedure we do with our videos, consistently ranking the top spots and Googles for years, do the same thing for you if you need to make sure your video is optimized correctly. So let's go ahead, add that piece to our big picture visualization and we'll add that to our checklist as well. And now section two is complete. 
we have the page in place, the page is fully optimized correctly, the entire website is fine tuned and all the site errors are fixed. And we also have the YouTube video created and in place and that YouTube video is fully optimized correctly as well. So we're done with the second section or the second step and now we're on to the third section or third step which is off-page promotion building links. Again, the second step was to have the content and the entire site fixed and the YouTube video all in place and optimized correctly for both the users and for Google to signal to tell Google that content is exactly what the user is searching for, exactly what Google wants. They want to show the most relevant results. The thing is, how does Google know which is the best content out of a thousand content on the specific topic keyword that is best? You know, how do they say out of all these thousands that are all about the keyword, they're all optimized, you know, how do they know which one to put first, which one to put second, etc.? Well, as you may already know, one of the biggest factors in Google knowing which content is best is by incoming links to a site. A commonly used and helpful metaphor is links are like votes. The more votes, you know, the higher you're going to win the election, so to speak, which is being ranked in the top spots in Google. So the more votes, the more popular, good, best the content must be. Except there's, especially nowadays, there's a lot of subtle points to link building that these days that we'll go over in this very training. Which this leads us to the third and final section or step of the ranking process, which is off page promotion, which involves building four different types of links that we build and link to our target content, both the site and the YouTube video each month. We build these four different types of links, a set number of these links, four different types, and we'll go into exactly what those are. We build those until we're number one. So let's go ahead and dive into the first type of link now. The first type of backlink that we use is called high authority links from high authority sites. Another term for this is PBN links or private blog network sites or private blog network. PBNs have a bad rap, you know, a lot of people are concerned about getting their their website penalized, so we usually, when we're talking to clients, we call them high authority link, um, just to give it a, a better name, because of course we do it different than the average you know, a PBN builder that, that gave them this bad rap. We do it in a very natural way, which we'll talk about. But if you don't know what PBNs are, basically these are sites that have existing powerful links to them, then for whatever reason, the business person, the organization, for whatever, they stop paying their domain register bill, and after 30 days of not paying, anyone can now register these domains. And all the existing links to that domain still count for making that site high authoritative in Google, Google's eyes, and able to pass along the link juice or the ranking power, helping it rank. So all those links still there count, and anyone can acquire these domains. Now, like we mentioned, uh, kind of segmenting into the section, is that Google um, uses links like votes, more votes, you know, more popular, higher in the ranking. But nowadays, Google only counts, and only counts at a greater rate, links from high authority sites. They know that, you know, everyone can just build all these links, and that's not a good representation. They want of actually true authority links, which are a lot harder to get. Which is why we build our own portfolio of authority sites with existing links, and that way we have full control of what we link to, and therefore influence Google to rank the content that we link to number one in the search engine, so number one in Google. Now, the challenges here are, there's actually a lot of them, which involves first finding the high-powered sites that others haven't found for a low cost, so either you know going through vendors, people finding it, or using different tools and machines and methods. So finding these domains, and then building the sites in a professional and legit way, in a natural way, an affordable cost, either rebuilding the content and redesigning it, making it a legit business, or using a Wayback Machine to rebuild it, make sure all the page works, and make sure it's legit, make sure that there's no like copyright infringement, et cetera, et cetera. Also, having different hosting, different unique IPs, keeping track of all that can be a huge nightmare of all the different hosting IPs and all the different information to make all them different identities, all legit, all in a natural way, and doing that at scale and organized and not going crazy and at affordable cost and training others to do it and managing it all and the maintenance of it, correcting all these hostings since we have so many different hostings, so many different logins, all the hostings can go down, the sites can get hacked, etc etc so maintenance of keeping these sites up but you can do all that and if you tried that you've probably realized it's a lot of work to get right and a lot a lot of uh, money and time and training investment and organization to get it all done you can do all that or you can now piggyback on all our hard work and investment of years of research 
painful trial and error, intense management to keep these sites alive, etc. You will literally skip the overwhelming, time draining, frustrating, painful process of PBN links and get them hand delivered all to you to any content that you want to rank for an insanely low investment for the entire year. And after the year is up, you can choose to renew the links at the same price you initially purchased them. So again, you can either take the time and energy to build enough of these links correctly and affordably yourself, or you can take the tried and true shortcut and have us find, acquire, build these powerful authority sites for you and link to any content you want. If you are so interested, again, you just have to go to the homepage, click it, order it. You can also get more details. If you order right away, we'll get started working on creating these high powerful authority links for you and you'll be thanking yourself when the content you want is number one in Google and you're reaping the long-term business growth and profits. So we'll add that to our number one rankings, our big picture visual map. And we link these PBNs that have existing links. We link them both to our page site, that page that we wanna rank, and the YouTube video. And we'll add these links to our checklist as well because PBNs are a big, big factor in making the content rank. Now, the next three types of links we're gonna talk about, there's three following reasons that we use these. The first is, the first is to keep the site we want to rank safe. This is also known as pillowing, so to speak, but safe meaning indexed, not having any algorithm or manual pen penalty or suppression of rankings, etc. So let me ask you this. If a site is just getting PBN links or high authority links or any one type of link, how natural does that look? Probably not too natural, right? So that's, that's why we use these three other type of links that we're going to talk about. That way the content stays natural, so the content stays indexed and stays making money. And the second reason is also added extra value for clients. There's a little saying in marketing that goes like this. Give people what they want and then also give them what they need. Because what people want and what people need can actually be two separate things. For example, most people trying to lose weight they want a pill they can take at night, go to sleep, and wake up the next day thin. Yet, what they need may be a little different. What they need may be to start eating right, lots of greens, fruits, etc., working out, going to the gym daily, correct exercises, etc. So relating this to you know SEO and marketing and, and digital marketing, meaning if I tell a potential client, I'm going to make you 10 high authority links a month, and that's actually what you need, but what they want is more links. So, we can use these other links. So we can say, I'm gonna make you 15 high authority links or 10 high authority links, whatever the number may be. And we can also say, we're gonna do you know, 20 professional web 2.0s. We're also gonna do you know, 50 social signals. And we're gonna do you know, 25 citations. That way, the value literally in the perceived mind of the client jumps up exponentially. And so they're getting more value for what they're paying for. And it also creates a win-win relationship and turns them into a long-term paying customer. And we'll get into more of what those um, type of links are and how they're used, etc. And the, the third reason is to for ranking power to increase the positions in Google. The niche is like a super uncompetitive niche. Maybe you can use these, you know, secondary pillowing type of links like web 2.0 or citations or social signals if the niche is super uncompetitive. Now we don't usually work in those niches because there's usually like not any traffic um, in those niches and it's, you know, there's not just a lot of, uh, of need to, to rank in those. Usually there's, we rank in what's more competitive and that's okay. So we have to use more powerful methods like PBNs, but it's not just the PBNs, it's also using the PBNs and the link. So we use these other ones to keep things natural, which then helps it rank as well and makes it so it doesn't have any ranking suppression using a variety of different sites and anchor text, which we'll talk about. We use these for to increase value for clients so others paying you you know, for doing it for a digital marketing company, they, you can have more value. And plus for a slight ranking power to increase positions in Google's, sometimes only in super low competition, you can rank these with these alone or with the more competitive, adding this with the strategy, the PBNs combined with these links makes the increasing goes up until you're number one in Google. And while we're on the topic of keeping things safe, we also use a natural linking anchor text strategy, especially with PBNs, the high authority sites linking out from those and the web 2.0s where we can select our anchor text. Now, most SEOs do this wrong where they can get the, pen, where the site penalized, which is they, for the, like the target keyword, for example, let's say it was temporary walls, they would just always link it out. So like with each site, 
or these represented with these blue things and then linking to the target content that we want to be ranked, they would link out from the, the sites in anchor text such as temporary walls, temporary wall, temporary walls, temporary wall, temporary wall, temporary wall. So they use the keyword and that's over optimization. Again, Google's always on the lookout for over optimization and would penalize a site or suppress its ranking. Now, and a correct example is to use a lot of anchor text variations such as temporary walls, maybe the keyword, you know, once, exact match, and then mallforms.com, like the URL, and then also different ways of saying it, like temporary construction walls, so different variations. Also, even things like their site being generic and the saying the company name, for example, like if it was mall forms or other generic things like pictures and click here and home, a bunch of different variation besides using just the exact anchor text match. So we do that as well, always when we are building these links and promoting the site we want to rank, we're linking out in a very natural way. Now let's go ahead and get to the three final links that we're talking about, which the first is Web 2.0s. Web 2.0s are free website or, or blog builder websites that anyone can use, such as Tumblr, Weebly, or WordPress.com. Why do we use these Web 2.0s? Well, like I mentioned a moment ago, Web 2.0s are used to create more site and anchor text diversity to keep the content natural and safe, provide more value to the client, and role in increasing the rankings to the top position in Google. Now, how is this done and what are some challenges? Well, some challenges with Web 2.0s, like most of these product or service is cost. Paying someone to build them like in a crappy way is sure that's inexpensive and cheap but then the web 2.0 will get taken down by the automatic robots and humans I'm sure that can scan for these things about people putting up all these crappy ones just to get the link. So we must have the people make the web 2.0s in a professional and well designed way because else if they're not if they're not done in the correct way the accounts just get closed so it makes the process worthless. And the second challenge is also also getting the web 2.0s that we created indexed in Google. The reason why is that there's thousands of people creating these web 2.0s per day and Google doesn't want to spend all their resources on indexing all these. Also, since these sites are on what is known as orphan pages in SEO terms, is there's no links connecting to it. It's not like the home page says, here, you know, go to this, you know, web 2.0 on the back end. It's called the orphan page. There's no links to it. So that's another challenge as well, getting them indexed in Google. That way, Google actually sees it and counts it to keep the site natural and help increase the ranking. So as you see the read recurring theme. We took a long time to systematize this and find solutions for these things. And now you can piggyback on our systems. We can do all the work for you. You can skip all the hard work of getting these done. That way you can focus on sales and growing your business. We built out our systems in a way that produce professional, well-created web 2.0s that you can show to your clients even. Your clients will approve. We're talking relevant, high quality content. Everything makes sense, links out in a natural way, etc. So you can skip systematize finding and researching all the best web 2.0s, testing, keeping the list updated, procedures and documents, how to build these things at scale and for all the clients, finding and hiring smart people to do all these, etc. And we can do all the work. And we'll even send you a full report of all this organized, including logins. Unlike some people who sell the web 2.0 links, they post them on what is known as like community sites, so to speak. So there's a mi mix of different topics. Maybe it can be something spammy like Viagra or payday loans or something. And Google and your client will most likely not want to have their article and their link right next to a spammy website. At least from my experience, um, it's not too helpful. So again, we do it all for you and the, the you get the web 2.0. So we hand over the logins and password. And also, like we said, we want them to get an index. So we will do the backlink campaign for you. We will send backlink to the web 2.0s that we create for you. That way you get them indexed so they actually count in Google. As always, you can go to the specific page on the white label at pro.com website about web 2.0s or any of these products or service get more details and or order. Overall, I've seen too many sites get stuck in the second page or even fall off in the top 10 pages and not even be listed because they did not have enough site diversity, anchor text diversity. So we highly recommend to use Web 2.0 because they work. So we'll add this to our visualization here. And while the high authority links or PBNs had existing backlinks to them, since we build the Web 2.0s from scratch, we'll run a new backlink campaign to those Web 2.0s like I mentioned. Then we'll add this to our individual SEO action plan and checklist as well. Now on to the next one, which is citations. Citations are business listings such as Google My Business, Yelp, Foursquare, Yellowpages.com, etc. There's over 200 of them. Now, citations help increase rankings and especially on the Google local listing, Google My Business Snackback. 
because each citation is a signal and a link to tell Google your site is real, it's popular, etc., to help increase ranking. Because remember, we want to keep things safe and Google is always on the lookout for spammy, not real businesses and prevent and suppress rankings of those sites so that way the users won't, you know, get to those sites and that way the user has a good experience, not a bad experience, etc. So a major factor that Google determines spammy versus real businesses is citations. And of course, mention is added benefit for the value for the client. Now, some things about citations is we have to get the NAP perfect. And the NAP is the name, area, and phone number consistent throughout the web of each location. And also built correctly. These citation accounts must be built correctly so they stick, meaning they're not taken down by the citation site because they don't look real or don't look like they're done correctly. They just look like they were, they were put up for like a fake business or something have to look real and also as we mentioned just like the web 2.0s we need backlinks to them as well because without backlinks then google can't crawl it to index it to see it to count it so we must run a backlink to those as well so you could do all that you could create them and send the backlinks and all that or you could skip all of that work like the principle we're building on here so you can have more time to work on your business strategically not in your business and again the other principle just because you can doesn't mean you should so we can do that all for you at a credibly low rate we'll create brand new email accounts, create all the citation accounts manually, input all your information on these things, go above and beyond the basic listings, organize all the info, login passwords, etc., and we'll run a full backlink campaign to them all for you. Citations build trust with Google, which helps you rank overall in both normal organic listings and the snack pack, the local organic spots on Google, and keep things natural and safe. We can do this, again, just like all of these, you just have to fill out the form and we'll get into how many you should order based on your budget and, and competition and other factors. We'll go into that in part three. For now, let's add this to our visualization, add it to our checklist as well, and now the final type of link which is social signals. Social signals are the digital signal that, that a site has been shared on social websites, such as Facebook, Google+, Twitter, etc. that search engines pick up. Now, social signals are important for the three reasons we mentioned earlier. Stay natural and safe, keeping things natural, safe, so Google keeps the site indexed and doesn't you know, suppress the rankings. Because think about it, if the site is getting backlinks from a popular site, from these PBNs or high authority sites, it's most likely also going to get shares. If a site's popular, it just makes sense. It's going to get shares so shares will definitely help also client value adds more value to the client for your SEO services so they become a client or, and they stay a long-term paying client and also ranking power increase in Google okay Google has over 200 ranking factors it takes into consideration when ranking social media is a big deal I'm sure you noticed if you haven't or unless you lived under a rock or something and I don't see social media going away anytime soon you know I think it's just gonna get bigger and bigger so I'm sure we can say to a degree that the social signals do increase rankings to some degrees and in, in different cause and effects and different things like that. The thing is, for my own testing and other testing, I've actually seen it sometimes help and sometimes it doesn't help. Um, so that's why like the reason that social signals is last on the list of for ranking powers that it may help. But again, you want to take the perspective just to keep things natural and just to help indirectly increase the rankings overall. Now to get social signals in place, the challenges are you think you could just make a bunch of you know accounts, make a bunch of emails and make a tons of social signals until you go to the accounts and then you not only need a brand new email for all of these, then now they also need phone verification that you can only use one per account so now you need dozens of phone accounts to get all these set up and that can actually be a little bit harder than you would think and gets expensive very fast then when we do that the social sites start blocking your IP because you're logging into the you know the same IP into all these different accounts so now you need to go purchase monthly payment plan of custom IPs to use them because the public IB IPs get banned a lot um, from all the spammers then once you finally have some accounts created they all start getting shut down for no reasons most likely to like like not looking real and, and you know they're not posting as much so then you realize you need to make the post and make all these social signal profiles real and keep posting and on them and hiring others to do this and building out systems to do all this dealing managing it all etc etc and the challenges keep going on but of course you can skip all that we spent years figuring out this stuff how to consistently get social signals every month from real accounts for an insanely low price per URL share we do all the shares for you we record the social stats before using us and then afterwards so that way 
you can actually see it's being shared. And each order is one URL. Using social signals to keep your site safe in Google, add more value to the SEO campaign, increase your rankings, all from social signals is a big deal. All you have to do is fill out the information on the White Label Pro social signals page when you're ready to order, and we'll start sharing your site on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus account. So now let's add this to our big picture visualization and add it to our checklist. And then let's go back to our visualization and see our visualization of the strategy because now all the pieces are complete. And now we have the keyword research section done. So we're ranking the right keywords. We have the on-page optimization done, the page article created, the page article optimized, and the site errors fixed, plus the YouTube video created. The YouTube video optimized equals relevant, high quality content, and the off-page promotion section, the high authority links, the web 2.0s, citations, and social signals, all pointing both to the page article on the site and the YouTube video as well. We link to both. Overall, this is exactly what Google wants. So if we zoom out, because I really want to add the connection here, that doing all of this in place is giving exactly what Google wants. The relevant, best, popular content in the top position so the, so the person has the best experience. That's exactly what they want. So we're giving Google exactly what they want to rank in the top position for more increased traffic, for more increased profit.